Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. So in the last video, we used our long range readers and we were able to gain access to a facility. Now we're walking around this facility and we found some doors that need higher access. But during our recon, we found out individuals and where those individuals sit who may have higher access. Or maybe we went to the IT department and we were able to find things in drawers. So we found some extra badges, but we don't have our Proxmark on us. We don't have a laptop on us. We're running pretty light with just a few bypass toolkits, but we need to scan this badge. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use a flipper because a flipper is a cute little toy that has a lot of power with it. One of the things it does is it can read RFID tags, it can write RFID tags, it can save RFID data. Similar to our Proxmark, but it fits in our pocket and it's a little more accessible during a pen test because we don't have to have a battery pack for our Proxmark or a laptop hooked up. So I'm gonna take my phone out right now and take a video of this. So this right here is my flipper. And this is the card that we found in a desk of a high security individual. And we need to do this while we're in the facility. We need to grab this data to bring it back if we were gonna re-enter later, which is probably not an advisable idea. Or we can emulate this or write it to a card if we have a card on us or we found another card in the facility. So we can easily read this by placing the flipper on top of the card like that. And then in the menu here, I'll hit this middle button and we have an application installed here into the flipper, which I'm sure you know how to do if you have a flipper. Most of you guys are gonna be way better at using the flipper than me. I kind of dabble with it, but I don't really take it too seriously. So you guys are probably way better than I am. But you can install this 125 kilohertz RFID reader. You can hit that and there's a read functionality. If I hit read with the card under it, I'm gonna grab that data. Now, of course, this is the same data we used before, but in our mock example, this is data. Once we're in the facility, we found a card in a drawer, and we're gonna utilize this hopefully to get higher access based on our recon data. Maybe we went through the garbage cans, we found seating charts, we found out where individuals sat, and we know who has access to what based on our preliminary data that we researched with OSINT. So we have that data now. We can hit more by hitting over. Now we can save that data. We can emulate that data and we can write that data. So if we add another card on us, we could write it to another card. We don't have a card on us, we're in the facility. So what we're gonna do is maybe we're gonna go down and we're gonna hit emulate. Now once you hit emulate, it says emulating. I'm gonna slide out this card reader again that we had before. And I'm gonna take our flipper zero and I'm going to place it on here and you're gonna see it says granted because it's emulating the data that it grabbed. So I'm gonna put it back on the card here like this. And that's one thing that we can do. We can also now hit back and get out of there and let's do a save because maybe we wanna save this data for later for reporting or maybe we really do have to re-enter this facility or maybe somebody else has a card but they're somewhere else. So we're gonna hit save and it says uncharted entry, that sounds fine. Or you can kind of go through the tedious process of using this menu system on your uh, flipper and adding a name for whatever it is that you're doing. This is gonna be good for us, so we're just gonna hit that and it says saved. So now we have that saved data. If we hit back, we hit back, and then we hit over because it's not going any farther. And we can see that saved data in here. So if I go here, I scroll down to what we had. We had uncharted entry and we can emulate that again. We can write it to a card again if we were somewhere else now and we had a prox mark with us. We can edit that data. We can delete that data. We can get info on that data. So that's the proper data. And that's a very useful feature for us because you know, having a laptop when we're on a physical engagement and we got to carry bypass tools, might not be a great idea depending what our mission is, what our goals are, but just tossing this flipper in our pocket might be pretty easy and it gives us a little bit of extra you know, flexibility and leniency with what we can do. Um, and it also has a lot of other features that may become useful while you're in the facility. So if I go back, you'll also see something up here. It's kind of neat, I'll just show, right? 
So this Ophelia right here, I'm not going to show the data, but that's actually cool. I took my flipper and put it on the back of my cat that has a RFID tag in it, and I got the data out of there. So it's useful for a lot more things other than pen testing. But I wanted to show this as a follow-on to the previous video where, you know, we broke in that facility, but now we can still utilize this you know, physical access control type of devices once we're in there. It's not just we grabbed a badge and we're in. Now we have to think of other things and this flipper can become useful for that. So if this was helpful for you, you know, like and subscribe and share out this content. I really appreciate it.